Hello guys, welcome to uh, Cycling Trike, welcome to the channel. In today's video I will be showing you around my Sun Traditional Trike. It is, I would say not stock, it, I did do a few things to it, just adding on to it. Um, and before we get to that, I'd like to say I am doing the Cycling Weekly 5,000 mile in one year challenge on this bike. And this is the only bike I'll be doing it on. So far this year, I've done probably 200, 252 miles so far this year. I think, I mean, it's not... It required 420. I think it's good enough for how cold it is outside for January. Let's get to the bike. First off, in the front, we got a got a phone holder. Let's hold my phone. Got a light right here. It is mounted upside down, which is not that big deal it's still this is right got a speedometer right right there it is in sweet mode right now it is a wireless one the other part of it's right there also I do have a horn and a mirror so I can See who's coming behind me. Also, I do have a water bottle holder right there. About the only spot I could find uh, to put one that won't interfere with pedaling. I do have a charging cable right there that goes down the cable all the way into that bag right there, which is the battery, which I'll show you later. I have an upgraded seat. It's a bit more comfortable than the one that comes on this bike. Here's a basket to haul stuff. I have a lock and then more water and a pump just in case something happens. A trailer hitch that I tow a wagon with and a light right down. Right there, it does work. That's what it looks like. And this. This also does other things like, dim, you got a full brightness blank. And then you got a low brightness blink, and then you have a... I do have lights on the wheel, one on each wheel. Battery pack's actually right there. And they are also red. You can't really see them, but there they are. They look really cool at dark. I also do blank. That bag right there, I do store stuff in it, for example. got tire lever. I do have another one in here. A dog bone wrench, which is really good for um, 
fixing anything you would have to if something happens while you're riding around. It does do most of the nut sizes on this bike besides maybe that one right there which is pretty big. Even the biggest one is probably as big as the thread. That's good for quick adjustments. Got another another tire weaver. You do need two to remove a tire. You got a quick tool. Contains Allen wrenches and fly head and a Phillips. You have the battery pack I was talking about that charges my phone while riding. You have duct tape just in case. A tire patch kit to patch any tubes if I need to. If I get a puncture. And I have a spare tire tube in here too. I can quickly change the tire tube instead of patching it, but if I If I puncture another tire after that one, I'd have to patch it. These pedals right here are upgraded too. They're the full metal the grips right here. This bike only has a front fender, doesn't have any rear fenders. Like it's a seven speed. You can see the derailleur down there. And the shifter's up here. It's in seventh gear right now. Usually I keep it in six, but I like going a little faster sometimes. And you do have a parking brake. It doesn't work on this side because the shifter's in the way. But it does work on this side, which it is set, and then to undo it, you go like that, and the bike. Bike's able to move and to set it, you pull brake, push that button down, and bam. And just to prove that I got the amount of miles I've told you for the challenge, you can see right there, year to date, distance 252. And I don't do much elevation because I live in Ohio and they don't have many hills like you would have, let's say, in Colorado or Tennessee. But I think they'll about do it. Hope you enjoy the video. If you have any more questions about this bike, please leave a comment, and if you'd like to see more of my journey to this 5,000 miles by the end of this year, please consider subscribing and leave a like on this video. <laughs> Bye.